In this question, we need to create a function called price that takes adult number and child number as parameters. So we start by defining the function. We use price as a function name, adult as the parameter, and child as the parameter. Then it says ask the user for the time, for the current time. Now we're going to use float just so they can enter minutes and seconds. So for example, 16.30 or 4.30. Now, if the time entered is between 8 and 20, we need to display the restaurant is closed and we ask the question again. Because this is going to be condition controlled loop, we're going to use a while loop. So while the time is less than 8 or the time is greater than 20, if it's less than 8 or bigger than 20, then it's gonna, the restaurant is going to be closed. So we need to display restaurant is currently closed. That should be currently, not currency. So I'll change that later. It's currently closed. Then we need to display float. Uh, so we ask for time again. So we ask for time again and again until they enter it correctly. Now, once they get the time correct, once they enter the correct time, we need to use an if statement. So if time is less than 15, then we need to do price is equal to adult times 20. So it's 20 pounds per adult to enter the restaurant and 12 pounds per child to enter the restaurant between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., which is about, well, and 15, up to 2.59. So once it hits 3 o'clock, the price changes. Now from 3 o'clock, from 15, up to 8 p.m. So from 3 p.m. up to 8 p.m., there is a 50% increase in the price. So to do that, so if it's not less than 3, so if it's not it's not before 3 p.m., then we need to use else, and then we do adult times 20, so exactly the same as we did at the top, to calculate the price, then we multiply it by 1.5. Now 1.5 will add 50% on top of 100%. So 1.5 is just technically means 150%. So 100% is the original price. 0.5 means 50%. So it adds 50% on top of the original price. And that's why I did times 1.5, which adds the 50%. Then we return the price. After we've done that, it says in the main program, ask the user for number of tolts and number of children. So we need to ask the user for number of the adults and the number of children. And now both of these are going to be integers, whole numbers. And then we're going to call our function. So price, price will be our function. So we call it, but we just need to put print before it just to make sure the value that is being returned is also displayed on the screen at the end. So we call, we print it, call it, and then we used adult and child as the argument. So adult and child. So we pass these two values into here, into adult and child, and these will be passed all the way to the top into adult and child, which are the parameters.